Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. This is Sanjay from subchip.com. This time I am presenting a new tutorial which will show you to how to create a simple and elegant bootstrap registration page using HTML, CSS and bootstrap. So we will present, we will create a new registration page which will similarly look like this, which will be very simple and with a covered background whatever you want you can take but i have taken the london bridge uh, view and in the registration page we will have some fields that we require okay so this is how we will going to create here so i have for this we have to have the software like you know, visual studio and internet explorer and internet connection and if, if there is no visual studio then you can go for a notepad because to write html and css notepad is sufficient enough so and skills as you know it requires html css and bootstrap so i have created a slide which will explain the step-by-step -step method to explain how to create the uh, registration page in a step-by-step -step method okay so let's uh, move on to the practical section we will start the start the step one so first we have to open the visual studio and create a new website when you create a new website, select Visual C Sharp and select ASP.NET uh, empty website and select framework 4.5 for now and select a location here. I will select documents and create a new folder called as demo and open it. Click OK. So it will create a empty website for you. So we have created, we have followed the first step of our project and the next is we have to add a registration page called Re registration bootstrap at aspx so right click and add new web page web form called as registration bootstrap click ok now we have followed this second step now we have to follow the third step update the title tag and add meta data and css links so uh, in the title add registration in the title this here we have to add a registration page this is no way related to our you know scope of our title tutorial but this is the best practice that you have to give a, a name of your web page next you have to copy this meta and script links which are referring to the bootstrap and put in head section so you can see here i have added the meta tags here and all the bootstrap links which are given by bootstrap you can find in you know uh, in the uh, slide here you can copy there and uh, all the required uh, javascripts and css links i have just added we have to follow the third step fourth step here download the london bridge view web page from this link okay so copy this link and uh, go to here and download this save edge i'll save to the desktop okay i'll go to the desktop and change this change the name of the uh, wallpaper as bg and copy that and paste in our uh, project i pasted here so we will next follow the stage here add the below style for the body tag here so in the body tag we will add this style tag here this is the body tag and i will add here okay i have just added the style to have the background and the next is we will uh, follow the next stage so add bootstrap grid row inside a container class div okay so now copy this and add inside body tag so this is the body tag so you can override this div to our div bootstrap div this container class in, in class is important this class row equal to important and inside that we have a class call md4 i will explain you what this class stands for because these are all part of bootstrap classes okay now let's move on to the next stage step six inside the middle div add the below division so copy this and 
inside the middle div paste this okay now now we will move to the next step seven first place a i tag in the glyphicon okay now copy this and paste here now below the page header class so we'll have a page header class here sorry we have left one we have to add a division in the middle div here to have our page header so page address will will show as registration and after that we will add a icon here before the registration which will which will have a click icon user icon okay now next we will move to the page header section so this is how we will create a form bootstrap form field so this is a you know text box you can say it is for full name text box now now i have done i have created a a single bootstrap field so let's run it okay and let's see uh, how it looks like because i have just created a single field to have the uh, placeholder as a bootstrap um, to have a to have a full name i have not added multiple uh, fields in the registration page so you can see this is how it will look like okay if you want to add more fields then you can come here and uh, repeat this section now save it and refresh here now you can see it is uh, it is showing your uh, fields but all are repeated now you can change the required things here the first is full name the next is let's say mobile and uh, change the glyphicon as mobile okay then we have let's say address address and change it as uh, let's say location mark glyphicon location let's say home okay and uh, and let's say it is uh, uh, enter phone and change it to phone okay and also you can come here and refresh see see here the in second the glyphicon is not rendering that means we have given some wrong you know glyphicon icon so let's change it to uh, phone yes it's coming now now we have to add a submit button here so let's go to the slide and check if we have to add yes this is a section we have added here we have to add uh, to have the sections to show the submit button now see it will show the login and submit button now it looks like a very you know a very simple design right so yeah in modern modern web development this type of uh, 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 registration pages are very common here and it is very responsive you can see if you change the width of uh, the screen then it will auto adjust uh, your uh, width okay so so that's all about this tutorial this is how we will create a you know simple uh, registration page using bootstrap in the next tutorial i will show you how to validate this uh, 
registration bootstrap fields value when you press login or when you press submit okay thank you for your time and uh, enjoy